What's growing on, gardeners? It's Sunday, March 3rd, and spring is in the air here on the southeastern coast of North Carolina. Do you struggle growing cucumbers in your garden because the dreaded cucumber beetle decimates your plants? Well, you're in luck because on today's video, I'm going to share with all of you how to grow cucumbers so you never have to deal with the dreaded cucumber beetle ever again. In fact, if you follow my channel, you know that here in the coastal southeast, I have some of the worst insect pressure in the country. But using these techniques, I have never found a single cucumber beetle in my garden ever. And now I'm going to share this with you. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe and hit the bell to receive new video notifications and check out our Amazon store and Spreadshop links in the video description for everything I use in my garden and awesome custom designed apparel and other gear. Your support is greatly appreciated. Reducing cucumber beetle pressure to zero begins months before you plant a single cucumber out into your garden. That's why I'm releasing this video in early March because you need to get started now while you can still buy seeds and plant them. So for that reason, please consult the timestamps in the video description, they will tell you exactly where I'm buying the seeds and what varieties to buy. Step number one to reducing the cucumber beetle pressure in your garden to zero is to not plant varieties of cucumbers that attract the cucumber beetle in the first place. The thing that attracts the cucumber beetle to your cucumber plants is a natural chemical that they produce called cucurbitacin. And this cucurbitacin is the biological signal that the cucumber beetles hone in on and find your plants. But did you know that some varieties of cucumbers produce little to no cucurbitacin? This chemical compound, cucurbitacin, that attracts the cucumber beetle is also the same chemical compound that makes humans burp after they eat cucumbers. So in order to reduce the burping that we get when we eat cucumbers, farmers over generations have developed varieties of cucumbers that they label burpless. These burpless cucumber varieties are low in the chemical compound cucurbitacin. So if all you grow out into your garden are burpless varieties of cucumbers, they lack that hormonal signal that draws the beetle in. And if they can't find the cucurbitacin because it isn't present, the beetles won't be able to find the cucumber plants. Now, I'm not saying that burpless varieties of cucumbers produce no cucurbitacin. Rather, they produce it in substantially reduced levels, levels that are so far suppressed that the cucumber beetle struggles to find the plants. Now, if you were to intermix different varieties into your garden where some are burpless and some are not, the varieties of cucumbers with a strong cucurbitacin signal can bring in the cucumber beetles, and then once there's already an established population, they can work their way over to the burpless varieties. So the way that I've gotten around this is to only grow burpless varieties. Every single variety of cucumber that I grow in my garden is burpless. They lack that strong cucurbitacin signal. So because everything is burpless, none of the plants are individually vulnerable, and I have never, ever had a cucumber beetle in my garden as a result. Now, while this method of growing exclusively burpless varieties of cucumbers has been 100% effective for me, I also recognize that while I do have extreme insect pressure here, maybe my cucumber beetle population just isn't as bad as some areas of the country, and you may have such bad pressure that even growing exclusively burpless varieties may not be 100%. So in that case, step two is to cover all of your cucumber plants with insect netting. So if growing exclusively burpless varieties of cucumbers fails to reduce your cucumber beetle population to absolutely zero, and there are still a few around, by covering your plants with this garden netting, you can keep any stragglers off the plants. And as an added benefit, you can keep all of the other pest insects off your plants as well. Now, some of the more experienced gardeners amongst us may be saying, hey, cucumbers require pollination. Bees have to come in and take pollen from the male flowers and transfer them to the female flowers. If we cover all of our cucumbers with insect netting, the bees won't be able to get to them and we won't get fruit, or I'm going to have to go and manually hand pollinate all of the female flowers every day if I want fruit set. Well, I have good news, because there are tons of new parthenocarpic varieties of cucumbers that do not require any pollination at all to set fruit. So you can grow them in a greenhouse environment and keep them covered every single day with insect netting, and you don't need bees, and you'll get nearly 100% fruit set on all of the female flowers. 
Parthenogenesis is a genetic term where the species is able to carry the offspring to term without fertilization. So basically, Godzilla is parthenocarpic. All this basically means is that the fruit persists. It continues to hang and mature and will reach maturity without fertilization. And these new varieties of cucumbers and old varieties of cucumbers, by the way, they're not genetically modified. They just carry this unique genetic mutation. And they are very popular in greenhouse culture where you keep the area enclosed and free of insects all throughout the year. In fact, last year, I grew a whole bunch of these different varieties of burpless parthenocarpic cucumbers in my shade tunnel underneath insect netting and I got some of the absolute best cucumber production of my life and because they're all burpless they are all sweet and crispy and they keep producing in the heat they are fantastic varieties if you want to know where to buy garden netting I'll make sure to place a direct link down in the video description for your convenience and also if you want to know how to grow cucumbers from seed so you can grow these amazing varieties I'll also place a link down in the video description for a video I made that shows you everything you need to know. And step three is to show you all of these parthenocarpic burpless varieties of cucumbers that will allow you to grow them underneath garden netting or insect netting all throughout the year and fruit profusely and never attract the cucumber beetle. Now, some of these are varieties that I've grown before and I know for a fact work great. Others are going to be new additions to my garden this year that I will be evaluating. I organized all of these by category for you. Party Time, Merlin, and Bait Alpha are all English style cucumbers, so they're the more traditional ones that we're kind of used to. I've been growing Bait Alpha and Party Time for a couple of years now, and they are two of my absolute favorites. Party Time especially because it only has female flowers and has profuse fruit set. Merlin Hybrid will be a new one that I'm trying this year, but I'm really excited to try. China Jade and Suyo Long are varieties that I've been growing in my garden for years. And these are both actually heirlooms. They are heirloom varieties where you can actually save the seed and they maintain that genetic allele for parthenogenesis. So if you want to grow heirloom varieties, these are both fantastic. And these are the Asian types that are all two to three feet long. They are absolutely delicious, especially if you like this style of cucumber. And this year I'm trying a new variety of cucumber called Diamant. This is a pickling style cucumber. So this is the first time I will be growing a parthenocarpic burpless pickling cucumber. They are a little expensive, but I have very high hopes for them. The pictures online are absolutely dramatic as to the production of these. And the reason why I'm showing you all of these seed packets is so you know exactly where I bought all of these seeds from. Some of these seeds can be bought by different retailers if you Google search it, but if you want to know exactly where I got all of these, just consult these seed packets. This isn't a real seed packet. I ran out of China Jade seed, so I have to buy some more right now for the upcoming season, but I just wanted you to know where I got all of the seed from. And if you follow these steps, you will never have to deal with the cucumber beetle in your garden ever again. There's no need to fight nature on this. These varieties of cucumbers have been specifically bred, so we don't need to encounter any of these problems. Grow these burpless parthenocarpic varieties, cover them, and there's just no way that you're going to get the cucumber beetle on your plants. It is just that simple. Now, I know some of us have been growing varieties of cucumbers for years, maybe decades, maybe for a generation or more, and maybe you just love the varieties of cucumbers that you're growing. But I'm telling you right now, these varieties, they're just as good, if not better. And the, uh, the seven or eight varieties that I listed in this video, they're not the only ones that have these traits. There are probably dozens of other ones out there if you search for a burpless parthenocarpic cucumber. So no matter what you're growing, even if they're old varieties that you love, you can get something similar, if not better, that have these traits and you don't have to deal with the cucumber beetle anymore. So be a little open-minded, try these new varieties, and I'm telling you, you won't regret it. You will wish that you did this years sooner. So everybody, I sure hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and please ring that notification bell so you're notified when I release more videos like these. If you're curious about any of the products that I use in my garden in real life, they're all linked down below in my Amazon storefront in the video description. So expand that video description, click on the Amazon link, and you'll see everything I use in real life. And while you're there, check out my spread shop for custom merch if you want to support the channel. If you want to know how to grow cucumber plants from seed, I'll place a link down in the video description that will tell you exactly how to do that. Thank you all so much for watching, and I hope to see all of you again on the next video.
I know that Dale often seems like the sweetest pup in the world, but it is not all rainbows and butterflies with this one. We just got back. Hey, sit down. Sit down. Down. We just got back from our evening walk and Dale did a terrible thing. We were walking, minding our own business on one side of the road and on the other sidewalk, a dog walked by that he didn't like and he tried to drag me across the street to go run and bark at the other dog for no apparent reason. What he did was very bad and he knows it. Yeah, 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 give me your paw. What do you say to that? Okay, all right, yeah, he's really sorry until he does it again the next time when he sees another dog his size that he doesn't like. If they're a lot bigger than him, he likes them. If they're a lot smaller than him, he likes them. If they're other boy dogs his same size and age, oh boy, look out, because he wants to compete. 